السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا بكم أبنائي وبناتي طلاب الصف السادس الابتدائي يلا نستكمل مع بعض شرح منهج اللغة الإنجليزية كونكت 6 2024 النهاردة إن شاء الله معدنا مع يونت 5 الوحدة الخمسة واللي عنوانها Amazing Journeys Amazing Journeys يعني رحلات مدهشة Traveling Expressions Ride a camel Travel by train Sail by ship Go on a journey. Take a trip. Go on a voyage. Diary. Trip. Voyage. Famous explorers. Ibn Battuta. Marco Polo. Vasco da Gama. Famous places. China. Croatia. Hormuz. Iran. Corkella, Venice, Adventure, Century, Different, Difficult, Experiences, Explorer, Far Away, Italian, Museum, Travel Diary, Travels, Vacation, The West, Poem, What are you reading, Angie? Oh, hi, Rana. It's my travel diary. I want to remember my family's vacation in Croatia a few years ago. That's a good idea. What was your favorite thing about the vacation? I think it was visiting the Marco Polo Museum. Really? Where is that? It's on an island in Croatia called Korčula. We took a trip there. It's a really interesting museum all about the travels of Marco Polo. Who was Marco Polo? He was an Italian explorer and one of the first people from the West to visit China. He went there in the 13th century and wrote a diary about his experiences. It's called The Travels of Marco Polo. How did people get to China in those days? It's very far away. You couldn't just fly there or travel by train. It was very difficult. The journey took years. Marco Polo went on a long voyage by sea. He sailed by ship from Venice to Korčula and then on to Iran. When he got to Hormuz, he stopped and went across the desert. He rode a camel all the way to China. Well, what an adventure. Yes, and imagine arriving in China almost 800 years ago. It was so different then. The museum had a lot of things from ancient China. It really made the story of Marco Polo come to life. What are you reading, Inji? Oh, hi, Rana. It's my travel diary. I want to remember my family's vacation in Croatia a few years ago. That's a good idea. What was your favorite thing about the vacation? I think it was visiting the Marco Polo Museum. Really? Where is that? It's on an island in Croatia called Korčula. We took a trip there. It's a really interesting museum all about the travels of Marco Polo. Who was Marco Polo? He was an Italian explorer and one of the first people from the West to visit China. He went there in the 13th century and wrote a diary about his experiences. It's called The Travels of Marco Polo. How did people get to China in those days? It's very far away. You couldn't just fly there or travel by train. It was very difficult. The journey took years. Marco Polo went on a long voyage by sea. He sailed by ship from Venice to Korčula and then on to Iran. When he got to Hormuz, he stopped and went across the desert. He rode a camel all the way to China. Wow! What an adventure! 
Yes. And imagine arriving in China almost 800 years ago. It was so different <laughs> then. The museum had a lot of things from ancient China. It really made the story of Marco Polo come to life. Advanced Clay Mystery Archaeologist Inspiration Tools Sculpture Works of art Civilization Complicated hairstyles Humans Before Common Era Common Era Ethan People Iron farming tools. Incredible. Information. Quality. Sitting position. Large eyes. Unusual objects. Village of Knock. Ability. Written. Almost 100 years ago. Local people in the small village of Nak in Nigeria, a country in West Africa, found some unusual objects under the ground. These objects were beautiful clay sculptures of humans. The sculptures were all in the same style. They had large eyes and complicated hairstyles. They were usually in a sitting position with their hands on their legs. The quality of the work was incredible. A team of archaeologists went to the area to find out more. They found many similar sculptures in an area of hundreds of kilometers around Nock. There were also iron and stone farming tools. The archaeologists agreed these were most likely from a very advanced culture from around 500 before Coman era to 200 Coman era. It was a civilization which had the ability to work iron and stone to make tools, and which made beautiful art. They called this culture the Nock Civilization. After the village where sculptures were found, some believed that the sculptures were the inspiration for the famous works of art by the later Aif people, who were in Nigeria from the 11th to the 15th century Koman era. The Aif were famous for making beautiful metal sculptures of human heads. However, there is no written information about the Noth people, so we can only learn about them from their art. Their culture is still a mystery today. Caravan Fascinated Sway Wander Wasteland Legend Adjective Dangerous Empty Lost Frightening Mysterious Adverbs Silently Slowly Adventure Gobi Desert Horizon Last Lopnur Dromedaries Noah Oasis Sand Dunes Waves Marco Polo was 21 when, in 1275, he went into the Gobi Desert for the first time. He was fascinated by the sand dunes, which moved with each step the camels made. Some of the dunes were 60 meters tall and 20 meters long, and their shapes were always changing. The wind made them move and roll like huge yellow waves. In fact, the local people called the Gobi Desert the dry sea in their language. The dromedaries in the caravan moved slowly up and down the dunes, swaying like big ships over the ocean. They went toward Lope Nor, the last village before the empty wasteland of the desert. Marco knew that after this place, there was nothing for thousands of kilometers, no people, no plants, no water. It was a mysterious and dangerous place. By day, it was boiling hot. By night, it was freezing cold, sometimes there was snow. They went on silently, but often the wind made strange noises, like voices singing and drums playing far away. 
There were many strange legends about this desert. People said that travelers who were lost long ago in the desert wandered there still. Before they left Lope Nor, Marco made sure they had enough food and water for the men and the animals to last for one month. After exactly thirty days of traveling across that frightening, empty land, they finally saw the green line of no oasis on the horizon. They had no water and no food left, and the animals were exhausted. But their desert adventure was over. They were in China. Almost 100 years ago, local people in the small village of Nok in Nigeria, a country in West Africa, found some unusual objects under the ground. These objects were beautiful clay sculptures of humans. The sculptures were all in the same style. They had large eyes and complicated hairstyles. They were usually in a sitting position with their hands on their legs. The quality of the work was incredible. A team of archaeologists went to the area to find out more. They found many similar sculptures in an area of hundreds of kilometers around Nok. There were also iron and stone farming tools. The archaeologists agreed these were most likely from a very advanced culture from around 500 BCE to 200 CE. It was a civilization which had the ability to work iron and stone to make tools and which made beautiful art. They called this culture the Nok civilization, after the village where sculptures were found. Some believe that the sculptures were the inspiration for the famous works of art by the later Ife people, who were in Nigeria from the 11th to the 15th century CE. The Ife were famous for making beautiful metal sculptures of human heads. However, there is no written information about the Nok people, so we can only learn about them from their art. Their culture is still a mystery today. Light of a candle comes up. Palm trees, perhaps exhausted, terrible island, port, telescope, the captain, small cabin, writer. Day one, January seventeenth. Today was a long, boring day with terrible weather. The ship didn't leave the port, so my journey to the mysterious island wasn't possible. I can see the island from my telescope. The beaches are white and sandy with many palm trees and there are green mountains at its center. It's exciting to imagine what I could find there. I'm sure I'll travel there soon. Day 2, January 19th. I was sad all day yesterday. The weather was still bad and there were strong winds. I went for long walks around the ship to pass the time during the day. In the evening, I had nothing to do but read my book by the light of a candle in my small cabin. Today the sky is a bit clearer, there is some hope for my journey perhaps, but time seems to move very slowly in this place. Day 3, January 21st I had quite a relaxing sleep in my cabin last night, and this morning I had breakfast with the others on the ship. In the afternoon, there was good news from the captain. Tomorrow the weather will be good with no wind, so we can go to the island in the morning. The ship will leave when the sun comes up. I'm very excited. Soon I can explore the mysterious island. Sail Skills Magical Adjectives Amazing Awesome Delicious Difficult Huge Incredible Lovely
peaceful, quiet, relaxing, traditional, wonderful, adverbs, beautifully, gently, experience, captain, falaka, sunshine. 6 January Today, I had an amazing experience. I went on a felica on the River Nile. A felica is a traditional Egyptian sailing boat. It's made of wood. A tall man called Karim was the captain of the boat. A felica is difficult to sail, but Karim was very strong and had the skills to do it. The trip was amazing. We went slowly down the river in the warm sunshine. The boat had two white sails which moved gently in the wind. It was so quiet and peaceful a lovely way to travel. We stopped to see some incredible things along the way, too. I saw the pyramids of Giza for the first time in my life. They were awesome. The pyramids were huge and the stones were the color of gold. The Great Pyramid, the tallest of the three pyramids, is 147 meters high. It was wonderful. In the afternoon, we had a delicious lunch on board the Felica, and there was a man playing traditional Egyptian music on a nude. He played beautifully and the music was magical and relaxing. What a day! I had such a wonderful experience.